Emma. It's lovely oh, seeing you today. Que tal? So I cannot tell you how much joy and how much fun and how much memories this movie gave me, honestly, <laughs> from my heart. I want to know how was it for you, and I wonder, is it easier to adapt an already character, or do you have more, let me say, pressure as an actress? Well, I had seen the musical, and, and it was quite a pressure, because um, there's a wonderful actor called Bertie Carvel who originated the role of Miss Trunchbull in the musical. And he's very mm -hmm. tall, well-built and big and everything. And I thought, how am I going to follow that? <laughs> um, but of course, I got a lot of help um, from my costume and from the prosthetics. And as soon as I found the reason, You know, the fact that this woman was cruel because she'd been hurt when she was little and I had mm -hmm. the costume, I was able to find a way of inhabiting this terrible monster. Headmistress of Crunch Emma. This isn't school. It's a prison. They like troublemakers, Wormwood. They made such a lovely sound. When they snap. <laughs> Talking about prosthetics and the makeup, is it true that your family didn't recognize you with the makeup on it, with all the artwork? Yeah, I mean, it was it was when I I was far away, and my husband came on set, and he Great. was walking around, and he 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 would never have known it was me because I wasn't wearing the costume; I was just in my robe, and he didn't recognize me at all. I had to walk <laughs> up to him and say hello. My gosh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how terrified or how scary was it for you the first time that you saw yourself in the mirror as Miss Trunchbull? How was that moment? Well, you know, it was gradual because we were trying to work out how much we should put on my face. So we put lots on at the beginning and then we slowly started to take it away because I said, let's work with as little as we can because as it is, it's three hours to prepare. From wow. door to door, you know, yeah. So you have oh. to be in the chair at five o'clock in the morning to be on set at eight o'clock in the morning. So if okay. you're going to put, if we had put any more on me, I think we right. wouldn't have, we, we, it wouldn't have been possible. But you know, we we worked with as little as we could, just the jaw, the nose, ears. An amazing work. That was it, you know. Now get to bed, you little bookworm. And was there any Agatha Trunchbull in your life? Um, well, there was certainly, no, at school, we did have a, a headmistress when I was a little girl who was absolutely terrifying. She was tiny um, and very, very fierce. And she used to hit us on the backs of our legs when we were naughty, which really hurt. So I think she's the closest thing to Miss Trunchbull in my life. You know that I'm a huge fan of musicals. Do you remember the first musical that you fell in love with? Oh, well, it would probably have been Mary Poppins. Oh, you know, my gosh. Was my One of my favorites. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Yeah, I, know, I love musicals too. Do you know that here in Argentina we have a famous celebrity, she's an amazing actress, her name is Laurita Fernandez, and she's about to premiere the musical of Matilda next year here in Argentina. She's going to be playing Jennifer. Would you like to send her a message or say, say something nice, a greeting or something for Laurita? Of course. Hola, Laurita, me encanta. Uh, um, um, okay, good luck. Um, uh, with with your your new adventure with Matilda in Argentina, how fantastic in Buenos Aires, I suppose. Yeah, um, of course. Yeah, break a leg. I don't know how to say that in Spanish. We say um, mucha um, merd, mucha merd, mucha merd, mucha merd. <laughs> we love you have so much. Time. Love Actually was one of the best movies in my life and I always have it in my heart. It's such an iconic classic. We love you oh, here lovely. in Argentina, Emma. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias.